Hi, welcome. In this video session, we will look into how to write a test in the PyTest framework. Python PyTest is one of the most popular framework in use today. It is used for writing unit test, integration test, or functional test. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Let's start creating our first test file or the test module. So I'm going to create all my test modules inside these PyTest topics. So right click on this folder and new and then you can select a python file and you can actually choose a, is it a unit test or a stub or a, just a python file we are going to just create a python file this is not the unit test file so what we need to do is we need write the python file name starting with test underscore something like module 01 and hit enter which is going to create a file test underscore module 01 yeah so before we start to add some of the tests let me quick note here that test files should be named with test underscore some something dot pi test underscore module one test underscore api api dot pi test underscore something like that you can name it so all the files should be named either it should start with test underscore or it can be file name underscore test dot pi so both test underscore something dot pi and something underscore test dot pi will work so this is the naming conventions for pi test so while running your pi test it's going to search for all the files which are named with test underscore something dot pi or something underscore test dot pi in the current directory where you are running and in the subdirectories pi test will actually automatically identify those files and those are identified as test files and it will run all those files of course, we can make PyTest to run other files by actually explicitly mentioning them in the command line. So we need to name our test functions as something like def test underscore. I'll just name it as test underscore a1 and then we'll write our test. So this is how actually you write a function in Python. It should be the function name and then it should followed by parentheses and then the colon. So after that, you can add your code underneath this. Uh, and then of course i don't need to tell you that we need to have the indentation proper in python coding yeah so this is our first test i just name it as test and so before moving on let me also note here that all the test methods and functions should be named something like test test underscore a1 you can name this a1 as anything whatever you like but it should start with test pytest actually requires the it's like kind of mandatory and pytest requires that the test function names to start with test so it it can be anything like test anything underscore is not mandatory but i uh, have to name it as test starting with test and this cannot be changed and as i said this is uh, mandatory for pytest to name all these test functions uh, starting with test so let us go ahead start adding some some test in here so what we can do is we can assert something like 5 plus 5 and which is going to be equals to 10 so actually yeah this is how you write a test assertion is like validating that the statement on this left hand side is equals to the statement on the right hand side of this equals equals operator okay so this is our first test and this is going to pass so let us go to the terminal and run our test actually so for running our test what we need to do is we have to just type the command pytest command we have already installed pytest and it's going to it's going to identify that we are trying to run some tests so we can run the pytest from this terminal or from the command prompt or from pycharm as well you can right click and you can run it but we'll see that in the next session for now i'm just going to run it from within this terminal in pycharm and we can what we can do is we can just we can just name the folder so our folder name is pytest topic i am inside pytest automation folder inside that there is another topic pytest topic and i'm just going to run this here so this command is actually going to run our test whatever is in the test underscore module 01 and it gave us that one passed yeah so yeah, this is all fine so as we continue let me just add some more lines plus some more assertions in the same test usually it should not be like this when we write any type of test either it is unit test or integration test or any kind of functional test what we should do is we should not be doing multiple assets in a single test so each of the tests should be testing only one particular scenario but for this demo we'll just go ahead and add some of the other assertions or other tests in the same test function so assert 5 minus 5 
zero. So I'm just gonna trying to show you about Python. That's why I just added it here. So five into five, which is actually going to be twenty five. And then just to complete here, we can just add the equals um, multiplication operator as well. And all these tests are going to be fine. Okay, so one pass. So actually, uh, there is only one test function. That's why it's going to say on one passed. Let us do one thing. Let us add some more tests, like for example, let's test a2 and let let me add one failed uh, test for example i just want to do a, a division and which is which is going to give me some result now one point something this is not correct because the right hand operator is going to give me some output one point something but i'm just putting it as here 1.5 and then we can also give a message comment here fail test intentionally so i'm just trying to fail one test just to show you in our command here so let us go ahead and try to run this and you see that uh, we are we have failed you can see the output here the summarized output one failed and one pass and you can actually see the assertion error here so nine divided by five uh, this was the line and you can see the error here e for error assertion error and fail test whatever we have provided in the message assertion message it prints here and nine divided by five also and this was the line you can see with this greater than symbol here it identifies which line it got failed okay so that's about one pass and one fail test let's continue with another test a3 and let's try to see one more operator for example we want to talk about this operator slash slash operator which is actually integer truncating operation and so for example what this is going to do is this is going to give an output of one it, it's going to truncate the remainder part and it's it's going to do a integer division it's just going to give us a value of one so this is actually called integer truncating division and then uh, this is how actually you give comments in python hash you can provide this comment anywhere in the file for example i just want to comment here for example test number three so you can put a comment like this in python anywhere in the dot py files so so now we have three tests the first one and the second one is a failed test and then let me put a comment here this is a failed test this is a failed test and we have three tests now so let us go ahead and run this one and you see that one failed and two passed and of course we have talked about uh, the assertion errors so there is another way of running this pi test which is the verbose mode and you can do like pi test minus v which is going to give us the verbose mode of running and can actually see that it gives the each of these test modules and then the test name and it will it will show us properly here which module or which file ran and which test uh, ran and is it a pass or fail so you can see it properly here with the verbose mode of running so we have just learned about writing a test and we have actually executed our test using pytest in pycharm so before we complete our session let us talk a few things more about the rules for writing a pytest scripts or the pytest test so First of all, what usually we do is we name all the test files starting with test underscore just to make it consistent with all our tests and everybody understands that it's a test file. We always name the, the test files or the test modules as test underscore. So as you see here that I have named my test module or the test file as test underscore module. You can name it whatever you like but at least it's always good to be consistent it's always better to make it consistent because if you have multiple uh, members in your team and if people have to work on the same project then it's always easier to identify and be consistent with all the pytest related uh, rules naming conventions and rules the next thing is about the functions i have named it as test underscore but you can just name it as test something some text here with uh, whatever names you would like to but yeah this is kind of mandatory the functions name should always start with test i have named it as test underscore a1 test underscore a2 you can go ahead and name something like test underscore login test test underscore api test uh, something like that we can name it and then of course if you are writing test classes and methods you have to name it as test so it's always better to prepend or append the folder and files with the word test so that's all in this session. 
In this session, we have seen how to start writing a test in PyTest module and how to assert our test or validate our test. Also, we have seen how to run PyTest from the command line. That's all in this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Thanks a lot for watching and please do leave a comment below about this video. Thank you.